Hi everyone, this is Colin with Platinum Copier Solutions and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a scan to network folder on your new Sharp Copier. Before you begin, you'll need the IP address from your printer and you'll need to have created a folder that you want to scan to or use one in your network repository. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and just create a folder on my C drive. I'm going to call it Scans. And then we need to make sure this folder is shared, so we're going to go to the properties of the folder and the sharing tab and click the share button. Now anyone that you want to have access to this folder you'll need to add here and make sure that they can read and write to the folder and then click share. Once it's shared I like to double click here just so I can copy the folder path right here. Next you'll go to the copier's web page and you'll all you need to do is type an IP address of the machine into a web browser to pull this up. First thing you'll do is click address book, then click add, and then you can name the folder whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to put column folder here, and then scroll down to the bottom half of the page and change it from the email tab to the network folder tab. The folder path is going to be the path that we just copied and then the, the username and password will be your domain credentials for uh, access to that folder. Sometimes you'll need to put the, the domain name in front with a backslash here. Uh, our network does not require that, but that is something that uh, you may run into. So once you submit that, you'll see here in the address book that the folder has been created. When you go to the panel it should look something like this where you can just tap the scan button and then you'll see the address that you just created here in the address book. When you highlight that you'll see the path here to ensure you got the right one and then just hit start. See job stored and then when we open up our scan folder there's the file.